Good way to speak. <laughs> Why don't we go down the line? Eins, zwei, drei, vier. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Math and Harris, Sudden Reality. Oh, yeah. Gustav Gilner from Brazil. Uh, good morning, Carlos. Yeah. I'm from Texas. Uh, I was also in Sudden Reality. So, I'm Tom Vujic, Toronto, Canada. I get Q. Woo. So, I mean, yeah, I don't know, I guess I'll just talk real quick. Yeah, please. So, basically, so I just want to say thank you, everybody, for checking out the movie. I'm happy to be here. It's my first time in Texas, and this is the second festival my movie gone, and I'm just happy it's getting out there. I get to travel, and that's it, and I hope everybody's enjoying their weekend. That's pretty much yeah. all I got to say, really. <laughs> I'd like to say uh, thanks to uh, Philip, uh, Philip H. and Salmo because I one of the first concerts I ever saw was Ozfest 2000. You know the, that was my first time seeing Pantera, and uh, back when I was in eighth grade, and it just blew my mind. And, uh, and then I saw the Real Steel tour with uh, Morbid Angel, and then the Extreme Steel with Morbid Angel and Slayer and Pantera, and just like to me, like so he's like my favorite singer, uh, just a huge. Uh, a huge influence on me as an artist and I just uh, just a hero of mine still to this day and I just I can't believe that you know how score selected sudden reality so it's just to me it's just such an honor and a privilege to, to be here and uh, I'm just having a great fucking time so it's so much awesome crazy shit here and, uh, it's a blast so just thanks to house score and everyone involved with that for allowing us amigos to be here so yeah well, uh, I'm also very happy to be here. I came from Brazil, so uh, I'm, it's my first time in Texas. I'm in Texas because of, of a movie with vomiting and shitting <laughs> and puking and so it, that's and so Carlos. Carlos. And Carlos! So that's so wonderful for me. My movie is a tribute to movie makes that I like, like as uh, Lucio Fulci and Zulowski especially, and uh, everyone got a vomit bag. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yes. 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 Oh, very yeah. nice. I like that, was smart. <laughs> I've been uh, 15 years doing that, and this is one of the greatest festivals that I am, so I'm happy about it. Besides just like so a tribute to Fulci and people like that, where did you come up? Like, what was like the the sparking idea that made you decide like this is what this movie was going to be about? What you, why you wanted to do it that way? Uh, must be a divine fan. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> John yeah. Waters. I love John Waters. What was the spark for the for the idea of the film? Well, actually, this movie is an introduction to a long picture. Mm -hmm. So in the long picture, I will show what's happening in the stomach. Of Carlos, yes. because he's really uh, he really hear hear voices on his on his stomach. Actually, he has a uh, shit monsters. Actually, <laughs> shit monsters that are talking about the end of, of the world all the time on his stomach. I hate those monsters. So, <laughs> <laughs> so he needs an exorcism to get out the monsters. And uh, well, I'm a huge fan of Cat in the Brain of Lucio Fulci. Mm -hmm. So the doctor. On this movie, it, it's the doctor of Cat in the Brain, uh, Fulci. Very cool. Yeah, yeah. So it's kind of homage to, to this movie that I love so much. <laughs> in the in the long picture, I will mix uh, Cat in the Brain with the uh, 50s movies of Roger Corman mm -hmm. and exploitation movies, always with lots of vomiting. Yeah. <laughs> 30 people Excellent. vomiting. Excellent. Monsters very vomiting. Good. <laughs> shit. Vomiting vomit his mouth. Is so the like vomit real? Uh, no, but uh, it's a simple mixture. It's uh, water. Uh, I don't know how to say in English. Um, and two more things. <laughs> Very easy to prepare. And milk. Some of the vomits have milk. Yeah, it was a mistake to use milk because <laughs> milk gets rotten very fast. Yeah. <laughs> oh. yeah. How's it looking like that, by the way? Yeah. The locations. Ah, we shoot on the street, so. Ah, so it's a shoot and run. Right here. <laughs> <laughs> so at least we had to deal with fake shit. For a sudden reality, we shot most of it in Denton, 
and uh, where I got my film degree, <laughs> UNT, that's right. From Denton. And uh, are you from Denton? Uh, kind of. I've lived there with lots of many of my friends from there. Close Coffee. enough. But uh, the, the apartment complex we were shooting at close to UNT had uh, basically nobody picks up after the dog. So there was a lot of uh, oh. dog duty <laughs> all over the place. And in the final scene, of course, we have to run and the cops like have to chase me. but. They were too out of shape, so like we, <laughs> I guess I'm faster than I look or something. They had like we had to do so many takes, and like they were sliding, and there's like dog shit, and in uh, the crew like just setting up some of the stuff, like stepped in a lot of the dog shit and tracked it into the apartment, and we were shooting in there for like a four days straight, and it was really disgusting. And uh, you know you scrape it up, but the uh, the smell lingers on. But originally in that thing scene, that should not be. We were going to uh, have me tackle him on the ground, but oh, it, was just, no. it was we changed that everywhere, so we would have been rolling around in it. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. that directed Q. Yes. What, what other film festival were you in? Uh, well, I was in one. It was like the Phoenix Film Festival okay. in Arizona. But uh, but yeah, I'm going to be dropping the movie online. And also on a side note, anyone here take a Google Real Wolf. This is our company. We actually mainly do music videos. We work with a lot of like hip hop artists, mainly we work with some metal artists. But um, yeah, it's just this is my debut short film. I want to get into the film business. I love filmmaking, even our music video style is very cinematic. And my whole approach with Q was it was just showing the dark twist inside of love, you know? Like everyone views oh, yeah. love as like this poetic, romantic thing, which you know it is to some extent in one angle, but I want to show the dark, crazy side, obsession fanaticism, all that, you know? If we go to your website, we'll, you'll, we'll find more music videos. Oh, stuff. yeah, check out and that then, one. Who, yeah. Because uh, something I really liked about it was the, the logo. Who, yes. How did yeah, I, pick, cool. I mean, like, yeah, you put so, a wolf on anything and I will fucking yes. love it. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, the logo was designed by this guy in Brazil, actually. Oh, My boy nice. from Brazil, he worked for, like, Megadeth and, like, Cypress Hill and stuff. Cool. So wow. he designed the logo for me, like, the original Real Wolf logo was a little bit more corporate, but I actually specifically told my son I want to make a second logo that's like more metal, you know, so yeah. it's a metal band logo. And yeah, we actually put out albums too, like compilation albums. We got an album coming out, uh, This Is It, The Underworld 2, and it has like Mark from Lamb of God doing some stuff, my boy Sid from Slipknot, so there, but it's a lot of hip hop mainly. So, and that's why even in the movie Q, it has a very kind of like, gangster hip-hop element to it which stays true to real but it's still dark it's got a metal heavy metal vibe to it as well and you know that's just basically what we're trying to showcase and yeah the, the logo is badass and that you, name brother. is you thank know you. Yo, thank fucking you, man. Much love, i can't believe nobody how did, how did, how did how's no one thought of that already? i don't know but it's so <laughs> fucking clever when you get a chance check out our videos i think you'll hey, like it we yeah. do a lot of horror videos too, hell so yes so that's awesome shit, really gory shit i really like that that was cool no doubt thank you i was really digging that too. the, the Oh, like cinematic oh much like less. The, same, same with your movie. I thought, I thought it looked amazing. Oh, what did you guys shoot it on? I had, uh, we shot it. I had an excellent DP, so I'd like to right. give a shout out to uh, Graham Futerfus, okay. who uh, uh, he's also from Dallas and uh, did an amazing job. He's it done really clean, really slick. Yeah. Like, was it was it video or film? We used just the 5D, just because it oh, was. Oh yeah, costed. no, 5D's great. Yeah, yeah. yeah. we it, shoot a lot of our videos on the 5D. It looks sick. But we shot it on the 5D, but to get more quality, right. we used uh So it's a huge, crazy technical process and you just gotta hope that nothing gets corrupted by all this yeah, risk taking. Yeah. And thankfully, nothing was uh, lost. So it was a big risk that paid off because it made the film look much better than yeah, it just was shot it worth the extra work. Yeah, yeah. I think we got uh, one last short here, okay. and so uh, we're going to watch one more. I wanted to make sure that we got this Q&A in with all you guys, man. Thank you. Appreciate it. That was fucking awesome. Yes.